So in this video, I wanted to take a quick look at the Zebra Fordia EF. This is another mini pen from Zebra. It uses their emulsion ink, so it's a hybrid pen. Uh, and it is another one of their small pens, just like the Zebra Slide Mini or the SLF1 that we looked at recently. The Fortia EF is in the Fortia line. It's a number, we've seen a number of pens from that line. It is a click retractable style and it is not telescopic. It is just a small pen. You could see uh, by the markings, each of these is half inch. So the pen is just a bit over four inches long. Here it is next to the slide mini collapsed and the slide mini extended. So extended, it's about the same collapse. Obviously the slide mini has the advantage on it. Uh, the Fortia mini is sold in a number of different colorways. This is called the Royal Silver, which I believe is a limited edition. But I think aside from the silver, like the coated silver body, it's not silver, right? Just a uh, chrome material. I believe it's the same as the normal 40 EF, which is sold in like a black and a red and a blue and maybe a greenish color and a pearl. So it's pretty similar to Zebra's normal colorways. As for the pen itself, it is, I believe a plastic front piece, metal body, tiny little metal clip. And this front, this top piece uh, is like slightly rubberized. You see a logo right there, it says Zebra Fortia, very nice. Chromed button, not a bad click. And then the label, just says the refill, the 4C.5, and then retail price, 300 yen. So it's a little bit more than some of the other ones. The non-Royal Silver would have a retail price in the US of a little over $3. This one sold for about between four and $5. To get at the inside, you would just remove this piece. And the pen has a nice weight to it, I will say that, because it is almost entirely metal. This little piece, it looks metal, but I'm pretty sure it's plastic. You can see that seam. Well, this is, it's like just this tiny little thing, but you could see that seam running down there. I think that's just where the, the plastic was uh, kind of a little injection molding type seam right there. And this is really light and doesn't have that sort of cold feeling to it. And I don't see any brass work inside. So I think this, piece is plastic while the rest of the pen is metal. Pulling the pen apart, we see this like hilariously long spring, but you see why the spring is like that because normally you wouldn't have a spring around a D1 style refill like this. Uh, what you would do is you'd have a little wing piece here to stop the spring. That way you could use a spring that's only maybe a third or a, a quarter of the length of the pen, sort of like this but you don't put those little wing pieces in a D1 refill. That's a straight refill, sometimes metal, sometimes plastic, but in this case, metal. And then they put this little hat on here and this hat comes off. And now we have a standard D1 refill, although it is a skinny one. So you may not be able to get every D1 refill in here. Some of the ones are a hair thicker. So keep that in mind. It's like a D1 is a universal standard but it's not perfectly universal. So you might have your options somewhat limited. Again, and this is, if you wanted to try this one and see you if you have one available or use it as a writing comparison, this is the 4C-0.5. Put it back together, you just put this little hat on here, put this huge spring back, and then you screw everything back together. Like I said, this is part of the Royal Silver line, so it has that nice chrome. The color is like a blue-purple. Actually, I think it's a classy-looking pen. Size-wise, the pen is small. There's no two ways around it. It's, it's just enough to catch on my hand when I'm writing, uh, and it's very thin. I think it's just uh, like 0.5 millimeter, so quarter millimeter in diameter. There's nothing in the way of grip, but this chrome 
is nice and grippy. That's not a problem. It's just that it's really small and tiny. So it's fine for jotting, but it's not something you're gonna write with all day. And then I, even though I still feel like I wanna scrunch my hand up to accommodate it. But if you're looking for something just to throw in your pocket or put inside of a notebook, then the 40EF is a nice way to go. Comfort wise, I had my reservations about the slide mini, but even that I think is a little bit more comfortable because you could see it's a hair longer, then also has a slightly bigger top. So I think it just has the edge over this, although they're not too, too different. This one definitely I think looks cooler, but I guess there's something to be said for that nice telescopic action. So that about covers the pen, nice build quality, pretty cool looking. Uh, don't buy the 40 EF if you think it's a full size pen. It's a little strange, they didn't call it the 40 a mini or the 40 uh, ultra small or something like that. The naming convention is the same as the other 40 is. Like the EM was the one we looked at just maybe a week ago. And that's a full size pen on the long side. The 40 EF is a mini pen, it's a little odd. But as soon as you see it next to a normal comparison, like this Sharpie, or uh, see what we have around, maybe a Lamy 2000 ballpoint, you can see that it is much smaller than those, and it definitely qualifies as a mini pen. As far as writing goes, it uses a Zebra emulsion style refill. Basically, it's a hybrid, but it writes like a ballpoint, especially in these tiny D1s. The slide mini, we'll take that one apart, and I think this one uses a 0.7 millimeter refill. Yeah, 4C07. So you see, this has a little bit more ink getting put down on the page there. The 40 at EF uses a the same refill, the EC, but in a 0 0.7, 0 0.5 millimeter. So this is the the Zebra mm, Fortia EF in a 0.5 millimeter. And I had no problem at all with these emulsion refills. Actually, it's a standard ballpoint style feel to it, although being an emulsion or a hybrid ink, it uh, is a little bit smoother. Good versatility on what you write with, so no problems there. That makes it a nice pen to have with you. Again, just throw it in your purse, throw it in a pocket, throw it inside of a notebook, and you're good to go. This small size is even small enough that you could put it in a pocket. Uh, you know, sometimes I put this one uh, on a post office run, just throw it in my pocket, I don't have to worry about it jabbing me. Uh, this is also the type of pen you could put into the arm pocket on like a, a chef's coat or a, a bomber jacket, that little kind of upper arm pocket. I know. Those things are actually really functional, but the the pen you could put in there tend to be limited. Both of these have small lengths and nice firm clips that are not gonna fall out. So that is the Zebra Fortia EF. Nice pen, very affordable. I really like it in the Royal Silver. I'm not sure if you could find it in that. The other colorways are quite nice. I think the black uh, is really in particular, pretty cool looking. Writes well, really good versatility, and under five bucks all in. Tough to beat that. So that about covers it. And let me know if you like mini pens, and I'll keep going with this line of reviews. Thanks for watching.